guys, welcome back. We are in the ninth part in this tutorial series on creating your first website from scratch. In this part, we are going to uh, work on setting up our hosting account for our website, get the website up live on a server. Because uh, a lot of things I see on other tutorials, other videos like this, people are like, okay, well now how do I get the website live? How do I get where people can see my website now? I've seen people linking their local uh, files and stuff, like they would take this and copy it and paste it and hope somebody can click on that and link to the website. Well, that, that just doesn't work. <laughs> That's your local uh, machine. And I can understand the confusion because there's a lot of stuff you have to go through to get to the live server bit. But uh, we're going to work our way through that. That way you'll know exactly what you need to know. Uh, to do this in the future for yourself. The first thing we're going to do is go to a web browser and uh, we're going to go to 000webhost.com This is a free web host that allows you to host uh, a real domain or like a subdomain for free. Offers pretty good plans for the free hosts. Uh, the reason I'm using this one is because this is the one I used when I first started out in this field. And I was pleased with it, and I believe you guys will be pleased with it. Now, do not suggest this place for a paid host. They do offer paid hosting, and I do not suggest them for paid hosting. I would obviously suggest uh, HostGator.com. I've never experienced a better uh, web host than hostgator.com. But anyway, so what we were doing, what we're going to do is come to 000webhost.com and then we're going to go down here to this little button and click sign up. And we're going to create our account. And we can use a uh, real domain such as like a .com or a .net, .info, .org, whatever, but for the sake of this tutorial and for simplicity, we're just going to create a subdomain offered from 000 web host. So we're just going to name ours like uh, learn HTML. And what this is, this is the address you type in to get to the website. Like awful media is awfulmedia.com. That's because I purchased the .com for awful media. This works the same way. You can also, like I said, uh, create your domain from a registrar like GoDaddy or somebody like that. And then use that note, that domain here, link the DNS to here. But for this tutorial, we're just going to use a subdomain. Alright, then we're going to fill in our information. We're going to type in whatever that says. And you're going to agree to uh, bullcrap. So create uh, my account. The subdomain is already registered. What was the difference? Domains never registered them. I don't know what that says. The vault card three. Password's too simple. Alright, create my account. Let's try that again. Domain is already registered. So we're just going to say, uh, awful media. Just whatever. I'm just going to say, yeah, E-H-E-D-E-C-D. Get those. Alright. Waiting for email confirmation. So I need to check my email. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Alright, now I'm in my email client and I'm on the email 000 web host sent me. And I'm just going to click the uh, confirmation link there. And now the status says it's building. This could take, uh, I'm assuming it could take a couple minutes, a couple hours. I don't believe it says, so it could just be instantly. I don't really know. I don't remember how they used to do it. So, uh, oh, active. 
All right, so that's fine with me. And then our domain name is uh, it's working properly. So now we have alphamedia.net 16.net. So this is our very own uh, domain name for our space on the internet. So what we're going to do is we're going to have to upload our files to this space right here. So how do we do that? Well, we have to use something called an FTP client. Well, we don't have to, but that's the way we're going to go. And FTP client, that stands for File Transfer Protocol. And that's just a way we can connect to the server using the information our host will give us. We can connect to the server and then upload our files using the client to the server, to our folder within that server. So all we have to do is download the client, type in our information, and then upload our files. And the client we're going to use, I'm going to use a FileZilla. Just Google FileZilla. And you'll go to the FileZilla-project.org. And we're going to download the FileZilla client. Let's click that button right there. And I am using Windows, so I will download it using the SourceForge mirror. Alright. Just go ahead and open up that exe and run it. Yes. And you would want to run through all of this. I probably should not do this, but I want to do it anyway for the sake of the tutorial. Because I obviously already have FileZilla installed. But uh, I don't mind restarting with it. It's fine. Alright, just run through that really quickly like you normally would. Nobody reads those things. You might just agree to the whole Centipad thing. <laughs> you never know. Alright, then when it opens up, you will get uh, this window right here. And it may look a little confusing at first, but it's all really simple and everything is, uh, it's, it's really easy. Okay, so what we have here is our local files, and these will be the files on the server. But to uh, access these files, we have to connect to the server. And we can use these fields right here to do so. We have the host, we have the username, password, and the port. So we're going to go to our 000 web host account and go to cPanel. cPanel is a really awesome piece of software that most uh, most web hosts actually use. And then we're going to come down and try and find hmm, view FTP details. And that will show us our information for logging in. Now I'm showing you guys this because uh, it doesn't really matter to me. I'm not going to be using this for anything. So if you want to attempt to steal my account, be my guest. So what we're going to do is go into FileZilla. And for the host, we're going to take the FTP host name. We're going to take that, Control-C, come to our client, and Control-V. Our username will be our username. It's really simple stuff. Paste that in. And now our password will be the password we created our account with. And the port, I'm just going to use 21. You don't have to use a port. It's always default. Well, not always. It's mostly default for uh, uh, the servers you're going to be using. And we just click Quick Connect. And there we go. That was easy. No problems. We're connected to the server. And you see we have this public HTML folder. And then we have these two files here. And it says, do not upload here. And that's just something the server put their uh, default for you to see. And obviously, we're not going to upload in this directory. We're going to go to the public HTML directory. And we have the default.php, and we have the .htaccess. Now, I will go over the htaccess in the tutorial somewhere down the road. It won't be in this series. That's a more advanced uh, thing you have to work with. The default.php is the page we see when we go to our domain name. That is what we see there. So what we're going to do is we can just delete default.php. And what we'll do is we'll come to our folder, our website folder. And all we have to do is take these files, go to our FileZilla, and drop them in there. 
That's simple. You can also browse over here, find the files, drag them over, double click them, whatever you want to do. Just get them on the server. And now, they will be live on our server. Boom. Simple as that. I tried to make that as simple as I could, and I believe I succeeded. That took us like 10 minutes, and that was with all the explanations and everything. We now have a website live on a server. To access this page, just go to awfulmedia.net16.net. Awesome, awesome stuff. I actually believe that concludes this tutorial series. I'm sure I will add more to this template in the future. That's why I made something like this, so I can add in, I may want to add in a featured content slider. I may want to add in a contact form, uh, content? A contact form in the future. I may want to do some jQuery stuff, some JavaScript, some PHP, things like that. And if you want to see stuff like that, please do leave me a comment. That would mean a lot to me. If you enjoyed this series, please give this video a like. If you did not, give it a dislike, but let me know why you didn't like it. I have no way of knowing why you did not like it if you just uh, thumbs down and leave. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. It's been a lot of fun. And uh, we're going to start on something else right after this video. We've got some stuff planned here, and uh, hope you stick around for it. So do subscribe.